Hello, hello. I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where I help students get into med school and other professional programs. If you haven't already watched our video on the fundamentals of beta oxidation, if you haven't already watched our video on the fundamentals of beta oxidation, I strongly recommend that you do. But let's jump into our big problem right now. How much total energy is in a triglyceride composed of three palmitic acids, each are 16 carbons long? The metabolism of glycerol results in 22 ATP. Take a few minutes to try and calculate this out on your own before I walk you through. All right, so the first thing we want to take note of is that the three palmitic acids are 16 carbons long. Three times 16 fatty acids. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is figure out, well, how much energy is one palmitic acid going to use? So if we have a 16 carbon fatty acid, we can draw out our simplified diagram here. I'm going to feed that in. It's going to show our four steps. And then we're going to get a 14 carbon plus an acetyl-CoA. Coming out of this, we know we're going to make an NADH. We know we're going to make an FADH2. And we know we're going to make that acetyl-CoA. And this is going to feed back around, continuing to drop us down. Okay, so for our net products then, we're going to have 8 acetyl-CoA. We're going to have 7 NADH. We're going to have 7 FADH, H2. And I will multiply this by those ATP numbers we memorized. So we know each acetyl-CoA is worth 12 ATP, each NADH is worth 3 ATP, and each FADH2 is worth 2 ATP. Multiplying these out, we get 96 ATP, 21 ATP, and 14 ATP respectively. If we sum these up, we get 131 minus 2 for our activation step, and this is going to equal 129 ATP per palmitic acid. So now we need to multiply this by 3, because we know we're working with 3 palmitic acids. So multiply this number by 3, and we're going to get 387 net ATP. Now, this would be easy to stop here and say, okay, 387 ATP. But we need to remember that there is a glycerol. So just to draw a sketch out of what this problem is talking about, we have a triglyceride. So we have this glycerol backbone. And we have three fatty acid tails, each one 16 carbons long. And we found out each of these carbons is worth 129 ATP for the net of 387 ATP. But we have not yet addressed the glycerol component. Well, luckily for us, the question told us what the glycerol is worth. Glycerol is worth just 22 ATP. So we'll add that in from the glycerol part. This will bring us up to a total of 409 ATP. And this is the type of problem solving you wanna have when you tackle a similar problem on the MCAT. While you could go through and draw the diagram, it's kind of nice to have the shortcut of saying, okay, well, if I know I have a 16 carbon fatty acid, if I divide that by two, I get the number of acetyl coas produced. And if I just take the number of acetyl-CoA minus 1, then we can get our NADH and FADH2. Just a quicker way to go through so you don't have to worry about, oh, okay, I put my 16 carbons in, I make an NADH, I make an FADH2, and there's something to do with splitting at the end. I don't quite remember what that is. It's a lot more simple to just throw this portion into your flashcards and say, okay, I'm just going to remember, cut the carbons in half for my acetyl-CoA. I want to thank you so much for watching our guided example video on beta oxidation, and I will see you next time.